Welcome, this is Zahn with Repro Products. This is a screencast video in regards to a question about doing sweeps for walls. Here is a Revit file from the client. It's just a wall from what I can tell and it has a wall sweep profile that's being used, a custom one, and it's placed on top of the wall. If we look at this entity and head over to the type properties, you can see it's using the specific custom profile here. When you select a wall profile or a reveal in that case, which by the way are the commands found here and here, you notice after you have it created, there are these two little dots. They're called grips. One is here and one is here. They're on both ends. You can left click and hold and drag to extend the length of them to however long you need or however short you, that you need as well. If you use the wall sweep or reveal command in this manner, then it's pretty much free form from the wall itself. An example would be if I switch this to two feet, it'll drop down to two feet. And so you can actually affect the design of the wall in this way using different profiles. If you want to create a wall sweep where it's an integral part of the wall. You can select that wall, go to the type properties, click preview in the lower left corner so you can see the design, switch to a section view, and then click edit under structure. When you do this, because you have switched to section mode, you have the modify vertical structure commands here. And one of them is the sweep command. So if I click the sweep command in here, I can actually add a profile and a sweep. So the profile, you click inside here and specify the one that you want to work with. And let's use this stone looking cold metal that the end user already specified. Go here under materials, click inside here to get to the material dialog box and specify it as being stone. and I'll just pick the stone for the sake of ease. And then you can specify its distance from the top or the bottom. I'm going to say from the top and leave it either on the exterior or interior side. I just want to apply it initially so I can see where it sits. I'll click OK and then I can zoom into that region so I can get a better look at it. Now heading back to sweeps, I can adjust the positioning. So the top positioning seems to be OK from a vertical standpoint, um, it's offset left or right needs to be adjusted. So let's try, uh, I'm not sure exactly what that distance is, but let's say it's uh, four inches positive. Hit apply and you'll see it to jump left or right. So we really want to try negative four inches at this point. And depending on how accurate you need to be, um, that's going to be too much. So let's switch this to three inches and apply. And that's close. So I'll do 2.75 and without me drawing that profile not knowing the exact shape I'm just roughing the uh, placement of it but you can be more exact if you need to you can always if you need to add more profiles and you can uh, pick different profiles and specify the location as well and you can delete any profiles that you don't need click OK that profile is going to be created for that wall type and now it's going to be an integral part of the wall as you can see here if I switch the style to realistic, you'll get an idea of what it looks like. This one I can delete independent of the wall. This one I cannot, but this one still gives me the ability to click and drag the ends if I need to. I do not have the ability to select it and use the temporary dimensions for vertical to place it that way because that height is controlled within the structure of the wall itself. Um, I hope, and then if for some reason you need to adjust the actual profile shape, the design of it, what you'll need to do is head over to where you have the profile created. For example, this one. And you can right click and you can click edit. When you do this, it will actually open up the profile family. And this is the sketch that's given to you. If you head over to family categories and parameters, verify it's under profiles. And if you need to specify the usage in here, it's set to generic by default, but you can force it to be a sweep, a wall sweep. And so it, it holds that character for scheduling purposes. Now, if I do want to change this design, 
I'm going to save this so I don't mess up the original one. And I'll save it as a different uh, uh, profile. And I'll call it test profile A. And in here, obviously, now I can make the, any design changes that I want. Uh, perhaps I need to take this and pull this up. And perhaps I need to pull these down. And perhaps I need to make this um, a little steeper. So once that's done, I can save the file, load it back into the project. Now in order to use it, you just select that wall, head back to the structure, head back to the sweep, and instead of using the one that you've already specified earlier, click in here and switch it to the one that we just created. Hit apply, hit OK, and again, zoom into it to verify that it's exactly where you want it to be. Click OK several times, and now that profile has been updated, and it applies in that vein. And don't forget, when you do wall sweeps, um, it's not just for the purposes of doing coping, but you can use it to do um, you know, crown molding or any kind of sweep that needs to come out of the face of the wall, and in relationship as well to wall reveals same approach. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope this explains how to work with sweeps in Revit uh, with the wall sweep command and or the integral part of the sweep command within the wall structure itself. Um, and lastly, when you do the wall sweep or reveal command, using these tools you only get horizontal or vertical. So I can place that horizontal one and it gets placed. And obviously you can make your own type by duplicating and changing its profile. Thank you very much for watching.